Orders update. Hello, I'm David Ferguson. It has been revealed that the Great Tapestry of Scotland Visitor Centre in Gala Shields is costing the local authority around £220,000 each year. That's around £10 for every paying visitor. Prior to construction starting on the £6.5 million centre, the 2016 business case predicted more than 50,000 visitors a year. And the Jura consultation also estimated the centre would lose a total of £185,000 over its first five years of opening. But visitor numbers are just over 22,000 annually, with early years affected by the pandemic, and the financial losses significantly higher, with Scottish Borders Council providing £440,000 over the past two financial financial years. Dumfries and Galloway has beaten the Scottish borders in the race to become Scotland's third national park. Rural Affairs Secretary Mary Goujon made the announcement and the government praised the borders bid but said it lacked coherence in parts and didn't demonstrate wide support. Members of the campaign for a Scottish borders national park say they will consider the judgment before making any statement. Now, a health spa boss from Peeblesshire has become the first Scot to row across the world's two largest oceans and break a second world record at the same time. Taylor Winyard with Ireland Charlotte Irving and Jessica Goddard from England rode the 2,800 miles across the Pacific from California to Hawaii in 38 days, 4 hours and 37 minutes, beating the previous women's record by more than two days and the men's record by 25 hours. It comes just two years after she helped set a mixed trio record for rowing the Atlantic but the 32 year old told us the Pacific was tougher I don't think I've ever been so happy to to make it back to land it was absolutely brutal the Atlantic was was really tough but this is just another ball game so yeah at one point I didn't think we were ever actually going to get to land we capsized twice and got stuck in currents and then as we kind of got closer to Hawaii it became more doable again and I think we thought maybe we can do this Border cyclist Oscar Onley has lifted his career to a new high after finishing 39th in his first Tour de France and is now looking forward to a homecoming. The 21-year-old from Kelso has confirmed that he will ride in the Tour of Britain when it returns to his hometown on September 3rd. Yeah, it's cool. And uh, so far the plan is that I'll be there. So, yeah, it'll be really exciting to be there in my hometown and home roads and stuff. It's always special. So, yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to that, I think. Borders case is really showing how good an area it is uh, every time the, the tour has been there before. And that's your BBC News for the Borders.